Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Thursday, January 5, 2023. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says government in partnership with stakeholders will be providing robust intervention in support of mental health on the island. Mr. Holness says the program, which will include the Ministry of Health and Wellness, the church and other stakeholders, will be done to change the culture of persons not seeking help when they are in crisis. According to the Prime Minister, too many Jamaicans are suffering in silence with multiple issues. Compounding those challenges, he says, is not knowing where to get help. Somebody to sit and talk with you, somebody to give you advice, even for the point of just offloading, break down and cry, helps you to get over it and get past it and to develop the inner strength and the renewed hope and faith that you will overcome the crisis. The Prime Minister was speaking yesterday at the Heal the Family, Heal the Nation National Day of Prayer. The action from the government comes in the wake of a murder-suicide of a couple in Manchester and a possible case of suicide by a police officer this week. It's not something that the government should leave up to chance. It is something that we have to be instrumental, deliberate and proactive in ensuring that we intervene before the crises in people's private lives become a public health matter. The Prime Minister brought home the point that tackling mental health from a whole-of-nation approach will align the moral standards and cultural practices of the society in keeping actions that support growth. Residents of Kensington, Tuller Castle and surrounding communities in St. James are tapped to benefit from improved road and water infrastructure. Minister Without Portfolio in the Office of the Prime Minister, Robert Morgan, made the commitment at a recent staging of the Sam Sharp Flames of Freedom Ceremony and Celebratory Concert. The roadway leads to the historical site where the 1831 Christmas Rebellion, led by national hero, the right excellent Samuel Sharp, began. Minister Morgan says infrastructure development continues to be a major priority for the government. Included in those plans is the construction of the Montego Bay Perimeter Road. The Montego Bay Perimeter Road is going to bypass the traffic on Howard Cook Boulevard. So those of you who go to do business in Montego Bay will have an easier time coming home. The Ministry of Justice is encouraging persons who wish to migrate or take up employment overseas to take up the offer of having their criminal records expunged. Only persons who meet certain criteria are eligible. The first is that the offense on your criminal record must be punishable by a non-custodial sentence, which means you did not have to go to prison for it. And the second is that you receive imprisonment that did not exceed five years. Also, persons applying for expungement must not have any other criminal conviction during the rehabilitation period. The information was given by senior policy analyst at the Justice Ministry, Shanique Graham, on Get the Facts recently. It can be the difference between a fresh start or a do-over at life, yeah. because at the end of the day, you are not your mistake. And we recognize that, and that's why the Ministry of Justice is on a drive to give people that second chance so they can be productive members of society. Between April and October of 2022, the Justice Ministry received 1,293 applications for expungement. Persons may contact the Ministry of Justice at 876-906-4923 for further details. In other news, the Transport Authority will begin motor vehicle examinations on January 9 to process the renewal of road licenses that will expire on March 31, 2023. In a press release on Tuesday, the Transport Authority said the early start to process vehicles is to facilitate the submission of road license applications by February 1, which is the start of the 2023-24 road licensing period. For quicker processing, persons may use the online application process. Delivery services are also offered upon request. Meanwhile, the authority is reminding customers that all its offices are now cashless facilities. Therefore, customers may pay for services at select external payment partners. Applicants must meet the approved Transport Authority standards and requirements to receive a road license. The authority is reminding stakeholders that failure to complete the renewal process by March 31, 2023 means that their road license will become invalid as of April 1, 2023. For further details, persons may call toll-free at 888-991-5687, customer care at 876-618-0959, or visit the website at www.ta.org.jm. 
And finally, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has joined a throng of Jamaicans who are expressing deep sadness at Wednesday's sudden passing of Ambassador Richard Bernal. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says Ambassador Bernal gave committed service to Jamaica and elevated the country's status and relations with bilateral and hemispheric partners. During his professional career, Dr. Bernal was Jamaica's ambassador to the United States of America and permanent representative to the Organization of American States. He was also a member of the board of directors of the Inter-American Development Bank and a chief trade negotiator for the Caribbean community, CARICOM. As the director general of the Caribbean Regional Negotiating Machinery, Ambassador Bernal had responsibility for trade negotiations for CARICOM. Prime Minister Holness says Dr. Bernal represented the people of Jamaica with honor, dignity, and professionalism. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching.